Welcome to this week's FAQ Friday. Today we're here at Mount Rushmore with Blaine Kornemeyer, and Blaine's going to answer a few questions that we've all been having. Blaine, can you tell us a little bit about Mount Rushmore? Sure. The, the beginning of Mount Rushmore started out with a gentleman by the name of Don Robinson. He was our state historian, the actual first state historian of South Dakota. His idea was, uh, he thought that western heroes should be carved amongst the Needles area along Highway 87, just north of Custer there. Um, but he, because he was our state historian, not a, a sculptor in any way, he, he uh, started to look in, uh, for someone that could potentially carve something in the Black Hills for the state of South Dakota. And ran across uh, Gutson Borgum's name as he was carving Stone Mountain down in Georgia. So I telegraphed Gutson Borgum, and Gutson Borgum thought it was a great idea and arrived uh, that very next summer to look across the Black Hills and find that great piece of rock. Uh, a rock. Uh, initially, they had, of course, looked at the needles, um, but Gutson didn't like that location. It was too heavily weathered. There were spires, you know, there's still spires today. Uh, heavily weathered spires, and Gutson didn't believe that they would accept a form. They would, if they would try and carve them, they would just wipe them down to nothing, essentially. Um, so that's that's the original origination of, you know, the idea, how it evolved. And Borgham changed the idea then from Western Heroes, which was Robinson's idea, people like Calamity Jane and Wild Bill Hickok, two presidents, and also then chose this ridge line the following summer. Great. And when did they start the carving? The carving began actually, the first blast was October 4th of 1940, or 1927. Um, there were several dedications prior to that. There was the dedication back in 25, uh, there was a dedication in 26 that uh, Coolidge was at. Um, when he was staying down in Custer State Park uh, with the big, that was the first time he ever rode a horse. Oh, cool. He had a big 10 gallon hat, literally 10, one of those big old hats, um, rode a horse up here from Keystone. So there was a dedication then, but they didn't actually do any work after those two dedications. They didn't actually do any work until October 4th of 27. Well, that's great. Thanks, Blaine. No problem.